Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. I hope you guys all enjoy. As always, everything will be timestamped down below. That is each and every story. We have tons of stories today, and of course, the first of which one is actually the oldest one that you guys have probably heard about now. With our latest update with the Face It Pick'em Challenge, as well as the Face It Stickers dropping, most importantly about that, I never got the chance to talk about, CSGO is now completely free. So for all of you guys who are somehow actually not CSGO players yourselves, you're new to the channel, or new to this video, I will link down below a really good video for all of you guys, as well as a Steam link for you guys to actually play CSGO for free, in offline mode. Now, three click fill goes into great detail about exactly what you can get for free now while playing CSGO because, of course, you don't get the full game, you don't get the full experience. In fact, you don't get most of this stuff, but you can play uh, offline mode versus bots. You can also watch GeoTV demo reviews, and on top of that, you can play every single workshop map in the game of CSGO, which there are countless thousands of good ones for people to play. So it gives people a great chance, a free chance, to actually get ready for the game and actually, you know, see what the game is like before if they want to make a purchase. And I think it's definitely a good look for the forward. Uh, forward future of CSGO and definitely a great update that was kind of hidden by the of course the big face and major sticker drop so that's some really good news guys CSGO is now free but now into the real CSGO news for all of you avid CSGO players out there and first off in pretty big news but also kind of sad news out there for any Tempo Storm fans watching unfortunately it does seem Tempo Storm will be disbanding again uh, if you guys know their lengthy history especially over the past year and a half definitely struggling I think it was most recently besides this newest roster before that they tried actually having a European roster as well uh, on top of that also a Brazilian roster they had two rosters that lasted just about four months in time. I think one lasted a bit longer than the other, and they picked up a brand new roster as well with HS and Fox kind of leading the way. They recently had lost Lowell and Asilian from that roster. I think that was quite a few months back, but if you guys do remember most importantly as well, we can expect a signing of a French team sometime soon. Now, the first rumors uh, is pretty much confirmed. We can almost confirm out there that it will be Happy, RPK, MBK, Apex, and Zai will be signed somewhere. The only question out there is do actually which organization will sign them, and why I say it's actually sad news, because you know whoever signs them, they actually are taking them away way. If you guys remember, it was actually, I think, uh, I believe it was all three of them, Happy, RPK, and Zai Wu, all trialed with that Tempo Storm roster alongside Fox and HS uh, leading that team. They actually lost a Cillian and Lowell, and they were going to replace them with two French players, allegedly, and it was actually a two-month span of time where they were trialing Happy, RPK, and then it, it was actually Happy and then Zai Wu uh, together as those pairs. It was first Happy, RPK, and then RPK was replaced by, by Zai Wu, and rumors all of a sudden flooding the, uh, the, the field that RPK lost his spot on Tempo Storm, but it all, of course, now Kind of comes downhill and comes crashing down is actually that I, that almost confirms the rumor itself. Those three guys who are all trialing with Tempo Storm have decided to not trial with them and have actually gone together uh, to whoever they're going to sign that new French team out there. So unfortunately enough as well, even more bad news. It does seem Tempo Storm officially disbanded this morning as Fox announced he will be leaving the team and both him and the team agreed to go on their future ways. Fox will stay in CSGO. He should. He says he's going to have some announcement sometime soon, probably a little bit after the major. Who he's going to go with, no one really knows right now. And alongside that, HS also also tweeting out things about, you know, having a hurt wrist. So just some really bad news for any Tempo Storm players out there right now as Tempo Storm is now officially disbanded for the second or the third time in the last year and a half. And what's a CSGO news episode uh, without Jake making a stupid mistake? And I want to quickly apologize if you guys did see what I was tweeting out over the weekend. If you guys, uh, thank you for also the great response. I actually pre-recorded three episodes uh, for you guys to watch, three different videos to watch while I was gone this weekend. So thank you guys for the great response and comments. I did read all those comments. I couldn't reply uh, to many of them because I I was on the road, but I did make a bit of a mistake, and I actually want to warn all of you guys who whoever received these kind of emails out there. I did receive a lot of ridicule, and feel free to comment down below or more ridicule. I was a complete idiot, and I do I want to admit to that. And I also I openly did apologize to Noah both publicly as well as in the DMs, and he said he accepted my apology, and we have we are moving on. But I was called out by Noah Winston in a, in a very good way, and I'm, I'm glad he did it because it really kind of uh, yet again woke me up from a lot of my past mistakes, and this has been probably the biggest mistake I've made in quite some time. So I actually tweeted out this. Uh, I deleted the tweet so I can't actually show you guys. I tweeted out that I, I said, specifically I said, I can confirm that MIBR are looking for younger talent to replace or to actually add to their bench. Now, I actually said this because, first of all, I, I misworded that completely. I, I should never tweet out, I can confirm. If I would have said anything else, I speculate, um, I think, uh, I, it might be possible, anything, but I don't know what came to my mind, but I said, I can confirm, which of course in any industry means 100%, and it wasn't even close to 100%. So I had received uh, several messages out there, apparently of some younger talent in the scene, actually receiving this email from an MIBR logo. It had an official email. I'll show you guys both the, the emails on screen as well. Apparently, uh, acquiring these, are actually reaching out to younger talent to maybe fly them out to Brazil to actually join the bench for MIBR. Now, I knew it was suspicious right away because it actually was from Alex Mueller from SK, and he had nothing to do with the Immortal Reband brand. So I knew it was sketchy, but I wanted to actually pursue this because uh, allegedly the player that 
actually contacted me, uh, he actually had already received a flight. He was going to fly out to Brazil to these, who knows where he was going to fly out to. And so I got worried. I thought it was actually somehow legit. And what actually crossed my mind, I know for a fact that SK Gaming and Alex Mueller were not involved with MIBR rebrand. It was Immortals and Noah Winston who rebranded MIBR. I followed the entire story. I'm not that stupid. I like to think I know some stuff about CSGO, but I did think because he had allegedly accepted a flight out there, I got worried and I thought, okay, maybe that Alex Mueller, when he actually sold those SK guys, that he actually had some percentage of MIBR. He was maybe a part of that rebrand in some contractual way. And so that's what led me to believe that maybe in some far-fetched world, this was actually true. Now, I really deep, deeply regret tweeting that out. And again, you guys can call me stupid, whatever. I, I really don't mind too much. Just, you know, ridicule me in the comments down below. That's what they're there for. And so I do apologize to everyone out that I did. I actually, I did that. Uh, of course, Noah Winston took to Twitter and said that I was completely freaking wrong. And that's in his right. I, I said something I shouldn't publicly that could hurt their brand. And I do apologize. So for anyone out there who's received these emails from Alex Mueller and SK Gaming and are actually trying to fly you out to Brazil to be a part of their bench squad or actually a part of their team, do not accept it. So I think there were a couple of players out there who did actually get these emails, but they were obvious scams. And I'm, the, I'm the person who did partially fall for it. So I do take the blame for that, guys and I do apologize and I hopefully I explained that situation well and I know some of you guys are gonna be saying Jake it's okay others of you are gonna say Jake you're still an idiot and you are completely right and again I am sorry Moving on. And also, some very big news out there. We actually have for Pro League coming up very soon here. Optic Gaming removed from the North American side of Pro League and actually from Pro League altogether. And this isn't huge news. And people out there thinking, first of all, it was actually ESL's uh, of doing. It was actually Optic's choice to be removed from North American CSGO's uh, Pro League side. And apparently, they want to, of course, move to the European side. In order to do so, though, because they gave up their license and there are no license spots left for the European side, they now officially have to re qualify through Mountain Dew League. Now, you guys know Mountain Dew League starts up right around the same time. As Pro League, so we should see Opt Optic Gaming join that just in time this next coming season, and they actually do have to win it to actually secure that European spot, which will probably not be an easy road. They definitely have a great shot doing so, but you know, given their past few months of struggles themselves, losing some losing to some random teams out there themselves, it will not be an easy task whatsoever. And it kind of falls, of course, it was their own choosing to do so, and I'm not really sure if they were forced in some other way, but it does seem it was their own choice to actually leave North American side of Pro League, and they will now have to compete for that spot in Mountain Dew League to get back to the European inside just to give them a harder time in pro league as well so honestly uh, first thoughts about this huge respect to the organization definitely a costly move there to actually move away from that and have to requalify so i'm really crossing my fingers because it, it'd be tough to see a team like them become like the next virtus pro or other uh, there are several european teams that are pretty good in mountain dew league but you know virtus pro is the one that comes to mind that can never really make it back up into pro league i hate to see optic gaming be the next team to do that but optic gaming guys out of na officially for pro league and now have to requalify for the european side and again just to make it harder on themselves. And very last in today's episode of CSK News, of course, tomorrow, guys, we have the Face It Major starting for group stages. I cannot wait for all of these. Now, if you guys do remember, the first four rounds for each and every team will be best of ones, with the fifth round being the elimination round. Of course, their third win or third loss will be best of threes. Now, that's not going to be for a few days here, but I cannot wait because I stick by what I said. If you guys watch my Face It Major Pick'em video, this is probably going to be the most difficult trophy or Pick'em challenge we have, uh, have ever had in CSGO. The competition is so close. All these teams are are either underrated, overrated, and a lot of these teams are just mystery balls. You have no idea what they've been doing, and we have so many teams out there who have produced just mixed results over these past few months, losing to some teams they shouldn't, beating teams they maybe should or shouldn't, and it's been it's been crazy, and I cannot wait. With North especially, most recently uh, winning, of course, DreamHack Stockholm, and we had G2 lose to Windigo in a best of three yesterday, and those are just two recent results which uh, of, of many that are just so confusing, so I cannot wait to watch that, and of course, we actually have our official face it uh, major talent was also in announced last week. If you guys did see on screen on top of that, also very cool. Every single analyst is actually a former pro player. So I cannot wait to see that analyst desk. And actually a big thing out there as well is that Thorin will not be invited to this major, which I know a lot of you guys have different opinions on the guy. I've told you guys, historically speaking, I don't agree with everything he says, but I will tell you this by far and away, he probably is one of our best analysts in CSGO, if not the single best one. And I personally do love his content. I love him on the analyst desk. I would have loved to see him kind of thrown in there, but now we're stuck with all former pro players which should be great for analysis, right? These guys obviously know what they're doing. I think the talent pool is amazing. I think Machine is one of the best hosts in any in any esport right now. He just got done hosting the international for Dota, and he is just on a crazy run right now. He also took to Twitter as well. Uh, don't worry, guys. He's taking a long month break after the major, so I cannot. Good, good, great job, Machine. He's doing an amazing job. It's great to see a face like that from CS:GO also succeed very well elsewhere. Overall, guys, I think the face of major talent is a really, really solid group. It's gonna be cool to see all those former pro players actually analyze 
as these matches. And on top of that, again, once more, this is going to be a crazy major. I hope for upsets, but on top of that, I kind of hope for some for some default wins because I want at least a silver trophy this time around, if not that gold. So hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you all in a couple days. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will see you all next time. As always, my name is Jake, my like you, and I'll see you all then. Goodbye. Uh, we, this actually has happened in the past, guys, as well as you look at uh, some other past trends as well. Apparently, we've seen this quite a few times where if there's an extreme...